Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in One Ring Waves. Uh, we're going to start by optimizing Windows, and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance, and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So, I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off, and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottlenecks. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to Control Panel, open it, go to Manage 3D Setting, and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS, uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring, uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue, but if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to go in the advanced mode. So for the screen mode, super important to play full screen. You want to maximize your FPS and also it helps with soldering. Make sure that you're playing native with your resolution. So in my case, it's 1440p. If you have a 1080p monitor, you should play in 1080p. For the frame rate, go maximum. Right now, it's locked at 60. So of course, use the best that you can use. And after that, for all the other parameters, uh, I'm going to tell you what will provide you the most of your FPS and keep your image quality, but it really depends on the type of computer that, that you have, if it's an old computer or something new. So for shadow quality, you can go until ultra high. I recommend to go with medium. You can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS and you will keep your decent image quality. If you go with low, the game looks very flat. As you can see in the back, it changed a lot. And uh, I don't recommend to go with low, go with medium. You, It's pretty nice, your image quality, and you gain a nice boost. Special effect, I recommend to go with low. It drops a lot your FPS when you're fighting and stuff like that. So this one important. LOD bias, you have three options over there. I recommend to go with medium. It's a nice compromise. You will have a nice 4% boost. Uh, MBN inclusion in capsule, go with off, 3% over there. Volumetric fog off, you can gain 6% over there. This one is pretty huge. Volumetric lighting, I didn't see a big difference on my main PC and my second PC, but on my laptop, uh, it improved a little bit, honestly, 3 to 4%. So if you have a very old computer with a 1050 or something like that, uh, test without it if you're struggling with your FPS, but majority of the, the, the people can run this at on. Motion blur, I recommend to go with off. You don't want this effect when you, you're moving. Everything becomes blurry, so I'm not a huge fan of it. If you have an RTX card, it's compatible with DLSS, so I recommend to use it. Uh, you can expect 15% boost with it. Um, the, the super resolution for the DLSS, I really recommend to use quality. Honestly, balance performance and ultra performance, you will see that your image becomes blurry when you're moving. It's not great. When you're static, it looks good, but when you're playing, it's not uh, great. So honestly, go with quality. After that, for sharpening, if you feel that your uh, image is too blurry, put some sharpening. It doesn't affect your FPS. And if you feel that you're watching an Instagram filter that looks weird, it's probably because you have too much sharpening. So go lower with this one. Anti-aliasing, it will be uh, deactivated if you're using the LSS. If you're not using the LSS, you just have the switch on off. If you put uh, anti-aliasing at off, you can expect 3% boost in your FPS. And honestly, it's a question of preference. I feel like the anti-aliasing in this game is a bit uh, blurry when you're using it. I prefer to not using it. But do some testing on your own for this one. V-Sync, I never use V-Sync in any game. It adds input lag. But you know, you're not playing Valorant or Conscious Strike. Uh, so honestly, uh, if you want to add it because you don't like your uh, tiering horizontal line when you're playing the game. Also, you can use other technology like G-Sync and FreeSync that synchronize your GPU with your monitor. 
The last one is your NVIDIA Reflex. If you have an NVIDIA card, I really recommend to using it. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any question about this guy, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.